Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome to RimWorld 1.0. It's been a while since we played RimWorld and considering it's now actually at 1.0 status, like it has gone gold, it has proper released, which doesn't really mean as much, I guess, these days in the days of everything's on early access. Uh, it, is, it is now a final version. I'm sure it will receive updates though. So we're going to play New Colony. And considering we're revisiting it, and it's 1.0, we're going to play. We're going to play Crash Landed. We're going to play the classic three Crash Landed survivors, the classic RimWorld experience. I think classic is the the right way to go for 1.0. Uh, normal setup, you know, you get one rifle, you get one pistol, and you get a knife. Uh, next, uh, we will play on. We won't play on Cassandra just because every time I play Cassandra and I get maybe like five episodes in, I hit this just this notch, this. Uh, what is it? What is the term? This groove. There we go. I hit I hit groove where I'm just like, you know what? I'm fine now. Like nothing is really gonna uber kill me because everything is designed to be this build up of difficulty. And if it doesn't kill you, then it's probably just below the threshold at which you can deal with it. Then you're like, yeah, this is fine. So what I will do is I will probably regret this, but I'm gonna go random random and I'll just put on medium. I'm not gonna go any high or anything right now. We're just gonna, we're gonna have the classic experience. Randy randoms, it's gonna fluctuate a bit on medium difficulty. We'll do reload any time just because if there are bugs or anything, I will probably install some mods down the line that might introduce bugs. But for now, playing modless, which is weird. Uh, and we are going to seed. And I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna use scene modless. There we go. Let's generate this. Let's look at our world. I think we just play the pure classic experience, you know, start off even in like a vaguely temperate area. Ooh, so I haven't played this in a while. Um, it's probably been a good maybe year since I played RimWorld. Maybe, or maybe almost a year. And look at this. It looks so pretty. It's got all these names and stuff. Probably some of the functionality that was a bit dodgy last time I played is actually working now as well. Uh, ooh. This tundra area extends pretty far down. Look at that. Tundra all the way down to there. That's near the equator. Weird. Very weird. We could totally go for like a temperate forest. Hmm. Tropical rainforest. Ah, oh, so many options. Oh, hell. Yeah, I should. No, I'm not. I'm not doing an ice shoot stuff. That would seem to be a bad idea. No minerals to mine, no soil plants to grow, and almost no animal life. Yeah, not about a different start. Uh, we could do boreal forest. Despite the harsh winters, boreal forests sustain a diverse population of small and large animals and have warm summers. You know, I kind of dig the idea of a boreal forest. It does get pretty cold, but if we can prep for it, we're fine. I like the idea of having this... I've always liked the idea in the world of having this period where, you know, you prep for winter... But the rest of the year, you're kind of okay. But you have to prep for winter. You know what? I think this is the choice. I think that's what we're going to go with. And uh, we will probably want to set up... Who are you? Hostile, minus 20. Hostile, minus 20. Hostile, minus 100. Okay, that's great. Temperate forest. Hey, temperate forest. How low can I go in that temperature zone? Let's go something like like 20 degrees or something. In summer, minus 26 in winter. That's pretty good. Mountainous. I think we go maybe large hill. Yeah, we start here. Boreal forest, we've got a lovely hill. We've got a lake. We've got a sea. We've got this road down below us. And quite a collection of uh, different peoples. Yeah, I like it. So... Ooh, Hello. South Hyada Hyandi Han Hyan Hyandni Federation of the Wintinder The Green Quail Transa The Borgo of the Bramble and Bow Party Or is that Bow Party? Are they bowing or is it bows? I I don't know. And they're just they're enemies of everyone. The only person who doesn't have an enemy of someone is South Hyanni to the Green Quail Traza. Transa. They don't hate each other. 
That's because they're, I guess, neutral. So, hmm. Civil Outlander Union, Gentle Tribe. Okay. What about you? Loose, blah, blah, blah. Parents don't sow, they don't build, they already trade, blah, 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 blah. Been here for decades of centuries. We're sitting up near you, so. Hmm. Okay. Right, next. Now. Ooh, and there's a whole left behind thing. Ah, that's a new thing, isn't it? I mean, new again, I haven't played this in like a year. Uh, we're going to start off very quickly with team skills. Oh, that's really cool that now you can see your team skills at a glance at the bottom. So, you know, you've got someone covering each of the important aspects. That's really neat. Um, you don't really add very much. Like medical six, I guess. Intellectual three with a passion is good. Um, mute. I guess that's fine, but I kind of want to randomize you something more interesting. Yeah, no misogynist here. No, get rid of the misogynist. Medical 11, great memory. Apocalypse survivor, but chemical old surgeon. You're an amazing surgeon. And you know what? You're a pretty good shot as well. Your son is Bill Wang. Yeah. Who we left behind. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, you're in. And your name is... Clonky. Monkey. And I'm just going to call you... Um, Monkey for short. So these names, uh, as per usual, I'm going to do the spiel here. These names are drawn from the Patreon name list, where people on my Patreon uh, who support the channel, I randomize the names and put them into a list and draw from them for things and games. There we go. Done. Uh, alcohol addiction, whole body. That's that's great. Intellectual 11, though. I, I don't need medical, so I'm going to randomize you. You're bloody good at plants and also construction. But I don't need plants and construction on the same person. Social through passion, intellectual plants, shooting. You know what? You're in. Cave or tender became a human computer. Okay. Undergrounder. Uh, wimp. Oh. Okay. Your name is... Melody... Richards. And we're going to call you Mel for short. And then you... Ooh, hello. You are big and tough. off world recruit became a shock trooper. 16 shooting and 14 melee. I, I, I want to use you, but my construction is only... F <sighs> my construction... I am my cooking. Construction and cooking and mining. I, I need more. I'm just going to look at the bottom of the screen and wait for my construction, cooking, and mining to go up. That's better. You do not fight. You're also a surgeon. Sod off. Okay. Haven't improved our cooking, but you've got construction and mining. Misandrist. Okay, we're going to keep going here. Just at the bottom of the screen. Construction, mining, and... Ooh, hello. Mining, construction, and plants. Cannibal. Chemical interest. Medieval slave became a colony settler. Cannibal. You, you know what? You know what? I'm in. I'm in. I'm sold. Uh, this is Adam... Farris. And they're all male, so it's going to be a bit of a sausage party. Uh, you're going to be Adam. Okay. 
left behind. Yeah, you know what? Sure. A wimpy cannibal. Rick. Call you Fred for short. Moan. Okay. Let's do this. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi. To the sound of sirens and revving metal, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the treasured starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. There we go. Classic start right there. Boom, boom, boom. What have we got? Got our compacted steel over here. More compacted steel. Compacted steel. Compacted machinery. Pretty defensible area here. You guys are here. Um, we've got wood yeah, up there. Oh, hello. A lot of jade here. Nice. Existing building here. Nowhere really that's going to form a particularly good defensive structure unless we base here. So I think we will base here. Because we've got this. We can always set up a perimeter around here for our large base eventually. We've got jade down here as well. Compacting machinery quite close by. Whole load of extra compacted steel. Then we've got caribou if we choose to, you know, farm them. Wild heal Ooh. Yeah, I dig it. Right, uh, let's have a quick look at... Oh, yeah. Oh, the whole hollow bash relationship. That's going to be fun. All right, where do I find your skills again? Here we go. Bio. So you've got seven, four, three. Well, you get a revolver. You get a rifle. And you with zero melee. That's going to be fun. Uh, grab yourself a plasteel knife. Then get yourself a plasteel helmet and a flak vest. It is the first of Joggest. Oh, I I haven't I haven't played in a while, so seeing this change like Joggest is summer, September is fall, December is winter. April, May, spring. That just, it tickles me. Oh, it takes you a long time to get, like, zipped up these days. Wow, okay. Okay. Right. So we've got to start planning... Allow all these. Allow all these. And of course, allow the medicine. You medicine this bracelet last time I played as well. Uh, and oh god, there's actually, there's actually a gap here. That makes me really sad. I thought this was going to be really defensible, but this gap actually makes it like completely the opposite. Uh, I think we still have to ride with this and just like deal with it. It sucks. Uh, nonetheless. We need structure. Bridge. Oh, bridges were added. That's so cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm going to move on. We're going to put up a wood wall. Probably just, like, here for now. And that's going to be, like, a temporary abode. Door. There. 
We'll also need to put down some lovely growing zones. Oh. The problem is down here, we've got very minimal rich soil. Because that 140% fertilization speed on the rich soil is great. Oh, is that the only bit of rich soil, actually? At least, like, nearby? Oh, there's a whole chunk of it up here. It's kind of exposed in the middle of nowhere, though. Like, I'm not sure how I'm meant to defend this. Yeah, don't think I can. I think we're just going to have to deal with this as it is. Uh, so, architect, zone, growing zone... And I know these are going to be, like, horrific zones to look at. But they do cover that rich soil. Got to make use of the rich soil. Just not particularly even. Oh. Bother. There we go. All right, stockpile zone. Uh, for now, stockpile, just dump outside. And then dumping stockpile zone, uh, we'll put here. Cool. Right. This zone, uh, we will plant corn. Takes a long time to grow, yeah. And then down here, rice, fast growing crop, does not fare well in poor soil. Yeah, rice should be fine here. Okay, let's give everyone their orders as well. Uh, work orders, I mean. Yeah, Doctor One. Patient 2, Patient 1, Fight Fire 1, Warden 2, I'll allow you to Warden as well because you're really quite passionate for it. Make your basic stuff, bed rest, sure, construction 2, grow 2. Someone's got a cook. I guess it's going to be you on two. Plant cut. Two. Mine two. Research. Two. And I guess your hauling can be two. And cleaning two. So that they actually do get done at some point. I'll make your crafting too, just in case it matters. And then we should have... an indoor space! Ta-da! Um, I'm going to pull that. We will need sleeping spots. I mean, they're not particularly comfortable. Yeah, can't really deal with anything fancier right now. And then we're going to need ourselves some food. Fuel stove. Oh, I mean, we could do... But I'm thinking the electric stove. Yeah. We need components though. Do we have any components? Did we, la we, we landed with some, didn't we? Yeah, we got 30 components. Yeah, electric stove. 
We're going to need to install a fridge as well. And then power. Wood fire generator. We've got plenty of wood. I don't mind having a wood fire generator at the start. Sure. I'll put the wood fire generator. Oh, this is a difficult choice. Because this is going to matter. Uh, put it here. I want it. I want it away from the wall so that we can still firefight it if need be. And the waterproof conduit. Oh, that goes in shadow water. Okay. I mean, just a conduit. Right. That's all good. Don't need a simple research bench just yet. Okay. I'm happy with that for now. I think we'll also order a whole load of deforestation. Where's the deforestation? Cut plants. I mean, chop wood is actually the one I want, but, you know. Semantics. That should give us enough wood to actually start building stuff like our beds, etc. All those fancy things, those luxuries. And then let's give you an order. Bill, add Bill. Cook simple meal. We can't build fine meals or anything. I would like you to have... Spam meals at all times. Do until you have X. Uh, make that six. Mm, yes. That way we should keep six meals at all times. Still got plenty of hauling to do. I'm pretty sure I designated these as like being haulable. Oh, not those. Yeah, those need to be haulable. Free metal. What's this? Slate wall. I might, you know, take that and just be like, you know what? Dismantle the slate wall. We'll build it ourselves. I'm all in. Lots of hauling being done. How are people feeling about today? Oh, you know, friends being quite friendly. Chit chat, crash together. Eight without a table. Oh, how dare we? We'll get you a table, don't worry. Right, furniture. Do you fancy do you fancy a table? Do you fancy a table, mate? Well, that might be a bit big for a table. Can we get a small table? There we go. That's a better table. Dining chair is uh, comfortable and attractive. Okay. Screw it. Luxury. Incompetent cook. Simple meal gave Adam food poisoning. Damn it, Adam! How bad is the food poisoning? You're in serious pain. Initial stages. So you're going to start vomiting soon. Oh, damn. Those fancy chairs take a while. Can I get the learning help to chew? Go, go away. No? Okay. And you can now eat a table. Well done. Oh, major. It's major food. Major food poisoning. 
Oh dear. Can we get a fun thing? Recreation. Horseshoe pin. There you go. You can have some fun throwing horseshoes. Wooden horseshoes. Not sure why you'd make wooden horseshoes, but you can. Monkey, how are you feeling? Fine, okay. Slept in the cold and all that jazz, but whatever. We'll deal with temperature soon. I mean, it's 24 degrees C right now. How cold is it that you're complaining at night about being cold? 23. Minor break risk already, Adam? I mean, the food poisoning sucks, but... Also, uh, we should probably increase the size of our stockpile zone. Need a recreation variety. Well, come on. It's just a horseshoe. Admittedly made of wood. Again. Weird. Still got the food poisoning. That's lasted a while. I feel sorry for you, Adam. That's that's gonna Especially since we've got like a toilet, right? So you've got food poisoning, you've got no toilet, you haven't even thrown up. You're just keeping it all in, because you you don't want to mess up our home. I don't know why you don't want to mess up our home. It's already pretty horrific, but whatever. I appreciate the thought. Need defenses. Okay, we do need defenses. Pirate raids will start soon. That's fair. And we are running random, so, you know, you've got to take that seriously. Uh, I think what we will do is... Order. And then claim that wall. Deconstruct that wall. We can try and rebuild that wall somewhere closer. In here, ideally. Maybe get some defenses around here and up here. This wall I might leave in place, but... See, the thing is, if I leave that wall in place and I build my defenses here, enemies are just going to run at it, so... Yeah, you can that as well. Hello, wild heel root. Yeah. Okay. We should also probably clear all the plants inside of our base. That looks a bit weird. Uh, and also, I guess we can smooth... I don't know why we smooth the stone. Like, we're gonna... We're gonna make some ma major changes. Major changes. You know, screw it. We'll smooth the stone. I won't bother with flooring just yet. We've got a lot of wood. We could bother with flooring. Also, we've got Yorna the dog. Hi, Yorna. I really want to teach you to haul, but it is really tough to teach you to haul. Screw it. An extra hauler would be great. Hey, Adam. How are you feeling today? A lot better. I wasn't going to solve your darkness issue at some point, because it's pretty dark in there, considering we've got, like, no lights whatsoever. Okay. Where are you off to? Ah, collecting all this. Fair enough. You'll get there eventually. Deteriorating because I'm outside and unroofed and all that jazz. Yeah, 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 we'll deal with that. I don't know why I'm even bothering to make this pretty. It's it's kind of, it's a cave. 
it's a man-made cave, admittedly, but it's still kind of just a cave at the end of the day. Like, it's got some rock flooring, some dirt flooring, and a horrible bit of stone at the back. It's got some pretty chairs, so that's cool, I guess. Either way, this is where we'll end episode one. I know that a lot of episode one was, like, picking out people and stuff, uh, but hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, like, subscribe, especially since I haven't played Rimworld in a while. It really does help. In a rile? Yes, in a rile. I can words. Uh, but it, yeah, it really does help. So if you can do that, that'd be absolutely appreciated. Also leave a comment because apparently YouTube needs you to leave comments and things. But until next time, have a night, Elysium. And we're probably all going to die. Stay shiny.